every yard I get with Justin Fields is plus one to any stat. But we're starting at a zero overall. So yards are not that easy to come by. Oh, man. Our goal is to get him to a 99 overall by the end of the season. Our first game is all about short passes. Whatever throw Fields is actually able to make is the ones we're going to target. But as you'll see, he's going to miss just about every throw we attempt. So it's really crucial that our receivers come up big. And just like that, it's already the end of the first quarter, and we've only thrown for 25 ah! passing yards. This is not going to be easy. We started to chain together a few decent passes. Let's go. That's a big gain. And despite knowing that we were going to lose this game, it was really all about how many yards we could get so we could add our attributes to Justin Fields. We ended up with 134 passing yards, meaning we get 134 points to add to Justin Fields. I know exactly where they're going. Short throw accuracy. I need to be able to hit the short throws, man. We're going to add 90 of our 134 points here. And I have 44 points left, so we're going to add 44 to medium throw accuracy. I know we've got to work on throw power, but if I can't hit the throws, it doesn't matter how hard I can throw the ball. But now that we've got our legs under us, let's make things a little more difficult. From here on out, we only get one upgrade point for every two passing yards, but rushing yards is still one-to-one. -one. But he's still only at one speed, so I don't think rushing yards will be coming anytime soon. We should be able to hit short passes like screens and slants, no problem, but I found that I was still running into some issues. Oh, he's not fast. He's not fast. I fumble. Please get it. Let's go. We recover it. Thank God. It's going to be so important, especially with a, a one to one upgrade still in field. Come on, brother. So, despite a few issues on the first drive, we're able to complete the nicest pass of this game yet to Darnell Mooney. And then we're able to put it into the end zone. You see what happens when you can hit short throws now, finally? Because I love it. We get key passes to Colt Komet, to Darnell Mooney. We're racking up the yards, but things are still far from perfect. Oh, no. That's a pick six. That's That one's on me. So, we're down by seven now. We start to drive down the field connecting a few passes together and on a big fourth and one we put it in fields hands but we are threatening here please fields no now, if we win a game we get 50 extra bonus points to add which is like so helpful dude i can't even begin to describe how helpful that would be right now so with that extra 50 bonus points on the line we connect with a pass to pringle then we hit mooney who breaks off an amazing run after the catch dude we finally broke a tackle oh my god we end up scoring seven to tie it up let's freaking go just to be let down by our defense oh we gave up a field goal never mind ending with 306 passing yards meaning we have 153 points to upgrade fields we're gonna add nine of our 53 points to short throw accuracy 55 of our points to max out medium throw accuracy and 89 of our remaining points to deep throw accuracy this should mean we pretty much won't miss any crazy easy throws anymore we'll look at throw power and speed now. and this is probably a good time to mention that if we're not able to reach our 99 overall all Justin Fields by the end of this video. I'm going to be buying and giving away a Justin Fields jersey to someone in the comments. Despite almost perfect throwing accuracies, sometimes it's just user error and this one was probably on me. Oh no, that's a bad pass. Throw power is for sure next on the upgrade list. But now we're also able to hit some absolute dimes. Right in the middle of the coverage to Cole Komet. And sometimes luck is just on your side. What can I say? Oh, Cole Komet on the under pressure and accurate turns around and makes the grab. Get in there. Get in there! Beelis Jones! But for everything good that we've done, it seems like there's always a bad. And we're throwing picks under pressure and accurate. At this point, it's 21 to 7. This is going to be another tough game to win. We can't seem to block the Houston Texans defensive line for some reason. And after battling down the field, we get screwed again. Loki kind of crap. You've got to be joking. So at this point, it's just maximizing the yardage output from this game, which is exactly what we do. We even get a rushing touchdown. And despite the upgrades we made, it's pretty clear what we need to upgrade now. An absolutely huge game with 416 yards, meaning 208 points, plus the one rushing our 209 points to spend. We're putting 99 points on throw power and 110 left. We'll add 11 to deep throw accuracy. And we've been getting killed under pressure. So I know I haven't adjusted speed yet. We still can't really run the ball, but I'm adding all all these points to throw under pressure. And that bumped Fields up from a zero overall, finally up to a 71 overall. We're starting to see some improvements, but we're a long ways off from that 99 overall goal. But finally, I can truly feel the stats coming together. Fields is playing so much better. He's hitting almost every single target that we're throwing to. Oh my gosh. Yes! What a pass from Fields to throw under pressure. Oh my gosh, we've got him wide open up the middle. Pringle, go! Don't get caught, you're fast. You're fast. There we go. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Let's go, Pettis. Break it. Break it, Pettis. 
Touchdown! So although we weren't perfect this game, the improvement is finally starting to click. Fields ended with 460 yards plus our one rushing yard. And let's not forget about our W plus another 50 is going to put us at 281 total. I know exactly what we're going for. We're putting 99 of these points on speed. We're putting 99 of these points on acceleration. And with our 83 left, we're putting them on throw on the run. We can finally start running the ball with fields to really rack up points. And running the ball is exactly what we did. And we're gonna take off immediately. And look at all the space we have already. Can he make that guy miss? He runs right by him. The 99 speed, 99 acceleration on the first play of week five takes us in for a touchdown but i'd be lying if i said it was all sunshine and rainbows remember we still have a zero carrying rating we don't have any juke skills and we don't have carry so we can still put the ball on the ground i totally forgot about that and 99 speed is helpful but it can't get you out of every jam oh no i tried to scramble but we're able to score again and tie it up then leading to another field goal that puts us up three and after the vikings tie it up at 17 justin fields goes to work hold your block hold your block we still got no stamina but we're gonna get there come on fields until that carrying rating comes back to bite us again and we fumble the ball <laughs> it's gonna be six the vikings end up taking the lead and we've got one last drive to get this win just like that just like that just like that just like that let's go at us again. It's third catch in a row. He breaks a tackle. But leave it up to me to choke it. My gosh. Oh my gosh. I just threw the game away. Those fumbles killed us. I mean, that was the game. But we finished with 223 passing yards, which is good for 111 points. Plus 170 rushing yards, putting our total at 281 upgrade points from this game. Now, without a doubt, I'm putting 99 points on carrying because those fumbles absolutely killed us there. And that's why we lost the game. I also want to finish off throw on the run. So that's another 16 points. And we've seen our stamina begin to dwindle on plays. I'm putting it all the way up to 99. And with our last 67 points, we'll put them on agility. Of course, not every stat here is going to matter. We don't need spectacular catch on Justin Fields. That's not going to factor into his overall. But some things like trucking or ball carrier vision, awareness will factor into his overall. So despite it feeling like we've got an unbelievable player here, he's still only a 72 overall player. Now, the story of game six was pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. I could not get any time in the pocket. They were playing the quarterback on all read options, so we weren't able to run the ball with Fields. And moving the ball in general was extremely difficult this entire game we fumbled the ball i just gave him 99 carrying and they recover this team was a lot better than i had planned for going in. and it was mostly due to the fact that my receivers could not get open against man coverage no one's open <laughs> I feel like Justin Fields on the actual field right but now. But we're fighters. We're down, but not out. We continue to drive and not let this game entirely slip away. Oh my God, we tied it. And despite tying it up, our defense didn't hold up their end of the bargain. Oh, we let up a touchdown. Are you kidding me? But I will say this game's not a total loss. It prepared us for what's coming next. And boy, did we need it. Fields ended up with 247 passing yards. Obviously divided by two. That's going to put us at 123. And rushing, it was real, real, real bad. We're going to spend 32 of these points getting up our agility all the way to 99. And then I'm going to put 91 into play action. Because I feel like that's our best chance to scramble and roll out if we can sell on the play action. That game put us seriously far behind on our goal here to get a 99 overall. But we are up to a 76 at least. Game seven started off hot. We scored a great first drive touchdown, but I can't tell you how deflating it is to be rock stars on offense and have absolutely no defense. We couldn't stop the Patriots throughout this entire game. Fields was cooking up dots left and right, scrambling when he needed to, trying to give the Bears the lead, but there's only so much control he has over the field. And on the last most important drive of the game, our receivers just could not get open. Look at this. Man coverage, no one's open, dude. We ended up with 288 passing yards. It's 100 44 points plus 25 rushing yards totaling 169 upgrade points and i wish i could upgrade the route running on our freaking receivers man we're gonna finish off play action put that to 99 i'm gonna go juke move all the way up to 99 if we can start juking out some defenders maybe that can help us and then we'll go spin move up to 62 the cowboys are gonna have a really good defense so our first drive is super important here we make a couple nice plays and end up putting up some points maybe we can win a game for one i really want those 50 points from winning a game it would come in clutch for upgrading field did he win there? He won! Yes! But our defense still cannot make a stop. So it's up to Justin Fields to lead us to victory. We have to be pretty much perfect, which unfortunately we weren't. Come on. 
I don't know how we did so far. But when I told you that adversity would come into play and help us out later on, I meant it, and this was what I was referring to. No! But when we really needed it, our defense held up. We went to overtime, and we're starting with ball. It's time for Justin Fields to take over. I got a touchdown to Y, and I can't get the time in the pocket. There we go, Komet. Throw pick. I throw a pick, but our defense holds up again, and we've got another chance. We gotta win this game. Mooney catches it. With 30 seconds left on the clock. I don't care. Take a sack. Game winning field goal time, boys. Perfectly timed kick. Go in. No blocks. Let's go. Come on. An extra 50. We finished with 458 passing yards from fields and 29 rushing yards plus the 50 for winning. We get 308 attribute points. Oh my gosh. I cannot even begin to explain how much we needed that game. Now that we've got like all the essentials at this point, let's go start going down the list. We're just going to add 99 to strength, 99 to awareness all the way up. We're going to add 37 to spin move to max that one out. We'll add 73 to change of direction. And before I knew it, just like that. Oh my gosh. We got him all the way up to a level 99. You can watch this video where RBT actually called me out. So I challenged him to a best of three Madden. You don't want to miss it.